All right, here's my XR. It's for sale. Show some of the things with this bike. Uh, it's got Excel uh, rims with Talon billet hubs. Uh, they're anodized gold. Uh, Maxis Pressa kind of a I don't know a dual sport on-road tire. It's mostly slick. Side panels got a few little scuffs. Seats in good shape. No tears or punctures anywhere. Uh, I put these stickers on. The after a while they start peeling off at times, so I've put two or three sets of stickers on this. This one here is starting to peel off. You can see they're on the top, so a little bit there on the, the front of it. This is the uh, dash area, so it's got a Baja Designs dual sport kit on it. I've got KTM mirrors. You can see on the front brake, it's got the uh, hydraulic pressure switch for the brake light. And I've got a Highway Dirt Bikes dashboard on here with a couple of add-ons. So it's got the add-on for the Vapor, uh, Trail Tech Vapor computer. It's also got this add-on for dash lights. So I have a high and low beam, or a high beam indicator, and then blinkers. And then it's got a Baja Designs key switch. Plus the Highway Dirt Bikes uh, mount for the key switch. Uh, service hand guards. This is a Pro Taper CR High bar. K10 mirrors. There's the uh, multi-function switch that came from Baja Designs. Around front, Baja Designs high and low beam, just a regular headlight. There's a couple of little marks on here. You can see one there. A couple of bug marks that maybe I've tried to get those off, but they don't come off. A couple of rubs. LED blinkers. Uh, and they're yellow. Uh, they're clear glass, but they're yellow when they have light. Here's the service handguard. Original front fender. I don't know if you can see, but there's a few scuffs. These are mostly from uh, tie downs from the other bikes in the truck. And we've gone multiple bikes. You can see a few little scuffs there. Maybe if I get the light right. And I've got CR F CRF 450 forks on here. They were used, so you can see there's some triple clamp marks there. And then on the front of the fork, there's some little tiny pits. I don't know if you can see those little marks. I've got new uh, fork guards. These are uh, Honda brand. They're not some off brand that don't fit right. Here's the braking rotor. It's 320 millimeter. And it's the really thick, uh, the thick rotor. It's not one of the thinner ones. Uh, here's my computer mount for my magnet. Get the speed right on the speedometer. That's the spacer there for the um, stock XR front disc brake caliper to space it out to fit with that big rotor. Uh, did a lot of trail riding with this before I put it on the street. So you can see there's some, there's some a little bit of wear under here. Some chips, paint chips from rocks. Uh, really all we did was fire road riding. So you can see there's some spots there. The engine looks good. Like I said, there's no spot on here where a gasket is weeping anything. All the seals are very good. Very clean. I never pressure washed this bike. I always um, just hand washed it. I know pressure washing can get inside of bearings and seals and tear things up. It's always been in the garage uh, covered. Um, when I bought the bike <clears throat> from the original owner, he rode it three times. And he said he crashed the last time and it bent the shifter up on this uh, stator cover here. 
you can see this mark up here on the top. When I got it, or when I went and looked at it, the shifter was bent and up on there, rubbing on that. So I replaced the shifter. Never replaced the cover because it didn't leak. It just, you can see that mark. The other thing is his handlebar must have racked pretty good when he fell. You can see right here on the frame on the stop, there's a pretty big dent on the stop where the old forks hit. And if you can see in there, there's a split in the paint where it kind of, it dinged the frame in a little bit there. This is a dry sump oil system. So the oil's inside of there. I've never had it weep or never had any problem with it. It's been like that for 15 years. So uh, with these CR forks, they're a little bit wider, so you get a little, and the triple clamp's a little wider, so you get a little less turning radius. You can't really tell by looking, but when you ride it and you turn tight, you can feel it. It just doesn't turn quite as tight. Uh, there's the dash again. Let's go around to the other side. You can see this is a Meyer MX style uh, rear fender. That way I can get the underneath. Uh, license plate mount and lights. Here's the brake light. It's LED Baja designs. CHM exhaust with the quiet insert and the arrestor screen is in there. This is just my regular XR uh, disc brake rotor off the rear. It fits on this hub. So I have to swap that when I do the rear wheel change, I have to change that. If I want to go dirt wheels, I have to take that rotor off, just those four, four Allens there. This side again, a little bit of scuffs on the side panels. Side of the engine, you can see, oh, there's the Makuni. Makuni pumper carb from XRs only. Very clean. You can see how close the fork gets to the tank here. Doesn't hit, but it's close. All original hoses. The only thing I've ever done on this is take the valve adjusters off and adjust the valves, those four caps. Never had a, a, another bolt loose under tightened on this. No wrench marks on any of the bolts. Uh, a little wear from boots here on this side. Engine's perfectly clean though. Not a drip, not a weepy seal, nothing. And I think that is about it. Oh, here's some, a couple of marks on the forks. Little cosmetic things. When I bought these forks, I had them rebuilt by the local Honda shop, so there's no leaks, no weeping here. Both seals are good. Here's the side of this front wheel. Same wheel and hub. Some marks on the rim from tire changes. thing on this side some frame from my boot boot wear on the side of the frame there um, gosh I think that's about it and try to get under the engine here marks on the frame no oil whatsoever though That's it.